will rely heavily on a never previously disclosed videotape that shows the last few hours of Chris Lopez's life. The family wants you to see it, and even though it's edited, some of it you might find disturbing. Here is Nine Wants to Know investigator Chris Vanderveen with the story that you will only see on Nine News. What's going on, man? Can you talk at all? Words are hard to come by. For a 35 year old inmate, two days removed from a nine and a half month stint in solitary. They're suiting up the team. I'm pretty much your last straw, dude. Christopher Lopez will not answer. The offender is uh, refusing to come to the door to cuff up. He uh, is exhibiting some uh, inability, maybe possible medical conditions. Colorado Department of Corrections Administrative Regulation 300 56 requires staff to record something DOC calls, special controls. Lopez earned his first felony in 1996. His lengthy record includes assault on prison staff. Yet there remains another side to Lopez. Coincidence did not bring him to San Carlos Correctional Facility. A mental illness did. The state houses a couple hundred mentally ill inmates here at any given time. Lopez, according to his family, has schizophrenia. Stripped down, wearing a spit mask and in a restraint chair, Lopez sits in a new room, the prison's intake area. Staff brought him here so they could watch him from a nearby room, but for some reason at 5.38 a.m., they miss this. We won't show you the entire grand mall seizure. Words from a state report and the sounds will suffice. Afterward, DOC asked staff to fill out incident reports. Of the 21 reports reviewed by Nine Wants to Know, not one mentions the word seizure. At the Humane Society, animals there ain't even allowed to be treated like that. Because they go to prison. Chris Lopez's yeah. mother and brother have yet to see the tape, but they know what happens next and they are angry. Yeah. Who wouldn't be? Nobody, nobody goes, goes home and treats their dog like that, you know what I mean? 48 seconds after the seizure began, it ends. 34 minutes pass before anyone decides the position he's in probably isn't good for him. Lopez! With no knowledge that he's had that seizure, officers take him out of the chair and place him on the ground. He will remain there for hours, face down. All right, man. I'll look for any changes. Here. Like you should stop breathing. A lawsuit filed in federal court on Thursday calls this the very definition of deliberate indifference. What's our man doing out here? Well, sleeping. He's sleeping, basically. He's pretty quiet right now. And if you would see a guy like that, uh, on the street, the first thing you do is call 911 as a layperson and say, this guy needs medical help immediately. Attorney David Lane represents Lopez's family. I think DOC, when this happened, kept their fingers crossed that it was all going to disappear. At one point, a nurse gives him two shots. A report obtained by Nine Wants to Know says it was Haldol and Cogentin, psychotropic drugs. More minutes pass, and at 9.06 a.m., he takes what amounts to his last meaningful breath. So what's he doing now? Once again, we'll spare you from having to watch the video, but we do want you to hear some of it. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? She is the on-call mental health clinician. What's wrong? Don't you like it on three right? Yeah, on four right. Four right? It's still on the floor. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like it on the floor. I don't like it on the floor. Yeah. It's all right on the floor. A coroner will say he died of sodium deficiency, a treatable condition. We used to go to Disneyland. <laughs> Don't drive your car into Disneyland. 16 minutes after that last meaningful breath, staff decide special controls is over. They go in, take him out, and at 9.24 a.m., reality finally. Right. We need to check this guy's pulse. How could you be so heartless to let another human being just die and not help him? The family wants more answers. This week, for the first time, the Department of Corrections publicly stated it fired three medical staff members and disciplined five other officers. Does anybody know what happened? Just found him down. By the time staff tries CPR and calls for paramedics, it's too late. He's been dead for more than a half hour. Can you not video and five hours after it began, the recording stops.